Sunlight is deep. I guarantee you. How many guys did the vitamin D test since the last time we talked? Anyone? You'd be surprised to know that it's very likely every one of us that are sitting here, except one lady, except one lady, oh, she's sleeping. She don't even hear me. Watch her. She's sleeping away. Sister Daly's sleeping, boy. Mm -mm. Everybody except one lady, because she did her research. She did her test. I guarantee you that you're um, probably vitamin D deficient. I guarantee you. And do you know, it, it's so funny. When I was a child growing up, I remember when the kids used to walk bow-legged. I thought that was just so cool. You, you know? Y yeah, rickets. I thought it was so cool, you know? I wanted to walk bow-legged. So I used to try, you know, being forced myself to do the little, you know? But couldn't do it, you know? And it, it was just so amazing. And do you know when you see people have knock knees too? It's the same thing too. Vitamin D deficient. Both this way and that way. Vitamin D deficiency. Am I making sense there, saints? You know, these are simple little things that you have no idea. You just see the thing happening and you think it's just normal for it to happen. Not realizing it's a symptom. As a matter of fact, I was just in Texas and I was working with this family. And while in Texas, the most amazing thing happened. Listen to this. There's this little girl. She's now 12 years old. And while I was helping her family, the mother said, Brother Luke, I have something disturbing I want to show you. Can you come and take a look? Well, we didn't have a woman on the team to come and assist us. So I, I went in the room, and she showed me. She raised up the back blouse of her daughter. And what happened, the ribs all fused together of her daughter. She says, Brother Luke, what happened? Do you know what caused this? I said, can we talk a moment? I found out that early on in life, from about five years of old age, the young lady began staying inside, the little girl. She wasn't going outside. So basically, she was not getting any sunlight at all. And then I asked the mom, when did you see that her legs begin to kind of bow, you know? And it's about five. I said, at that time is when the early signs of D deficiency had begun to show. But they not understanding, did not realize what was going on. And they kept the young lady in the house, kept her in the home, kept her in the home. And before you know it, all here was all fused together to the point where you can see just like hump, hump back. Young girl is now, um, she's now, um, what's it called? You know, you can say handicap, kind of, because of what has happened now. Because uh, the, the body was not able to get the necessarily amount, necessary amount of vitamin D to help with calcium absorption, to help with bone growth. That is correct. That is correct. Because in order for calcium to, uh, to be absorbed, you need vitamin D and protein. No, 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 listen. In order for calcium to be absorbed, you need vitamin D and protein. Vitamin D, um, let's back up. Calcium helps facilitate healthy bones. But if the D is deficient, the calcium cannot be absorbed to help make those healthy bones. So as a result, the body start pulling from wherever it had it throughout the body, and it began pulling from those bones. And before you know it, like for example, when you have indigestion, if you have acid reflux, guess what you're going to be deficient in? Calcium is one of the things you're most likely to be deficient in, because the body's going to pull the calcium to help neutralize the acidity of the stomach. Am I making sense to you? Similar thing happened with osteoporosis. Oh, by the way, acid reflux will lead to osteoporosis. Am I making sense to you, saints? Okay? I want to pause here for one quick minute as Brother Handel makes some changes. And we're going to pick right back up at this topic um, uh, when I come back. But Sister Dagmar, take a few minute break here. Sister Dagmar is going to come up and she's going to do a lecture on hydrotherapy. 
Saints, I'll tell you something about hydrotherapy. Hydrotherapy is deep. It's called healing through water or healing by water. Uh, you know, as Sister Dagmar, as you guys are preparing to go and take your break, I'll give you a quick testimony. I remember, and some of you guys have probably heard when I shared this testimony about my neighbor, blood pressure to the roof, 197 over 117. The gentleman, what, 38 years old. And I thought he was 33 or 34. Sarah, how old would you say Roger is? 36 or something like that? 38, mom said? Well, if she said 38, she's right because she talked to him every day. But let me tell you something. This guy, soccer player, slim fit. He, he, he is pretty slim, isn't he, Sarah? Very physically active. He have a good soccer player. And here's what happened. Roger pressure to the roof, man. And Roger pressure was so high. I grabbed this book right here, volume one. And I went to the section on the hydrotherapy with Roger. And normally, I would do a hot foot bath. When somebody pressure is high, man, I put a hot foot bath on them, let them put their foot in there for 20 minutes. Have a little ice pack on the side, put that on the forehead, 20 minutes, blood pressure down. Bam, one time. If you have headaches, 20 minutes, headache gone. Well, guess what happened? With Roger blood pressure being so high, I couldn't use the traditional treatment that I use because he could have gone in cardiac arrest. I had to use a hand bat. I used that hand bat, and saints, listen to this. 20 minutes, I didn't even make it to 20 minutes with a hand bat. Using the water th treatment, Roger blood pressure dropped. When we finally had a chance to check that blood pressure, 134 over 70 something. Healing through water. Take a few minutes break, come back, and hear Sister Dagmar has to say. Yes, Sister Evans. Huh? Yes, that, that is correct. And I'll tell you, ladies, as I go, the next couple lectures I'm going to is going to deal with menstrual cramps, acid reflux. The same thing that I use to heal acid reflux, heal menstrual cramps. Mm -hmm.